the Trail Regional Airport owned and operated by the City of Trail recently announced a new satellite-based navigation system that will improve all-weather access for all flights to and from the airport. We have a GPS approach from the south and from the north, so for, to runway 34 and runway 16. Those two approaches have a, a minimum descent altitude that the pilot uh, would basically, at that altitude, the pilot would make the decision whether or not to land. So it's called the decision height. Mm -hmm. uh, that decision height was, uh, his, prior to this, uh, um, was 5,480 feet mm -hmm. and 4,400 feet above sea level. Great. So what we've done now is uh, lowered those approaches to right around 4,000 feet. So what the difference is for the traveling public, it means that um, when the pilot is on descent coming into the airport, rather than reach the 5,500 foot threshold, mm -hmm. I'm still in cloud, I can't see the airport, so I have to overshoot. Yeah. Uh, the pilot can now descend to through 5,500 and go down to 4,000 mm -hmm. before making that decision whether or not to land. So that increases the likelihood of popping out of the bottom of the clouds and being able to see the runway and successfully land. The West Cooney's mountainous terrain makes it difficult for planes to land in the valley. The new limits will give flights a greater chance at getting through the clouds and then seeing the runway to make their approach. It certainly does because uh, really what we're talking about is the, the base of the clouds. So um, the lower that you can descend before having to make that decision, the better off you're going to be. Um, so clearly, for example, if, if the cloud height was, the bottom of the clouds were at 4,200 feet, neither approach in the current format, you would, you, you would not be able to land. With the, with the new system, um, you'd obviously be able to go down to 4,000. You'd pop out of the bottom of the clouds and be able to make a successful landing. The new limits will start in January, which coincides with a new daily flight to and from Kelowna. It certainly is. Uh, I mean, timing couldn't be better. Uh, having lower approaches and trail and the introduction of Pacific Coastal daily flights to Kelowna really opens it up uh, for the traveling public. Uh, you no longer need to go to Vancouver in order to get out because Kelowna, of course, offers flights all over as well. So it's a great connector hub. It's a great opportunity for, for the local population. For Go Coonies in Trail, I'm Jennifer Waldy.